Hello, this is a quick video on how to use the uh, rip fence on the saw stop in my lab here at the university. This is a saw stop 10 inch contractor saw. I'll turn that off. Um, and uh, basically a pretty good saw. It's got a really nice safety feature in that if you get your hand in the blade, it'll stop the blade uh, immediately and withdraw it. So it's fairly hard to get cut at least that way. So I'm a big fan of that safety feature. Um, this is a uh, pretty typical saw with the exception of the rip fence. And the rip fence is this thing right here, okay? This is uh, what we use to keep the board aligned as it goes through the blade. Now this particular fence, and I'm not sure if it's this design or this particular fence, has a weird quirk to it that makes it difficult to use. Um, and what happens is you gotta have the fence parallel to the blade. Well, I do. Here, here it's locked right here. You can see it's, it's uh, locked in place. And you can see that the fence is parallel to the blade. It's uh, touching the blade all along the blade. So these two are definitely parallel with each other. Here's the problem. If I unlock the fence and I slide it down, this fence can change angles, okay, easily. So what I can do is I can lock it, say right there, and I've got it just about parallel to the, uh, see? parallel to the uh, uh, miter fence slot in the saw, I can do this, okay, and it'll lock. And you can see that gap there that is pretty much even. So the blade is, or the rip fence is parallel to the edge of that slot. Or I can unlock the blade and I can give it a little push and now it isn't, okay? Now is that a big angle? Yeah, no. See the, the, the gap there in the, uh, uh, between the uh, rip fence and the miter slot, miter gauge slot, is not too big, but it goes to zero up here. So what is that, a degree, half a degree, something like that? That's about an eighth of an inch here on this end. But what that means is the board is getting closer and closer and closer to the blade as you try to push it in. All right, now I just did what I thought was a pretty reasonable job of trying to get this thing lined up to make a cut on this piece of Let's see, this is a five quarter beach, well within the capabilities of this blade and this saw. And you can see I burned the whole face of it because I had to push really hard to get this through. It kept trying to uh, bind up on the way through. Well, clearly I managed to get it, this locked down and not perfectly parallel to that. Well, at least on this particular rip fence. I don't know if it's in every one of, of this design, but at least on this particular one, there's nothing about this fence that guarantees you're going to be parallel to that blade. You have to uh, uh, check it before you turn the saw on. If it binds up enough, what will happen is the blade will stop. Okay. If it doesn't stop, it's still going to be very hard to push through and you're going to wind up with these burn marks all down it. Sometimes the side of the board will actually go black. So until we basically replace this with something else that works better. Here's, here's how to do this. There's, there's two ways you can line this up. If you see on this rail here, there's, a, I don't know, what's that, about an inch wide uh, rail sticking up. You can push hard that direction, push that direction, or you can pull this direction. One way, uh, both ways will push the alignment uh, pins on this up against that rail. Now, when I bound this, I had it pushed up, okay? So I don't think that's right. I don't think I had it right. So I'm actually gonna try it again. I'm gonna pull it back here. But the problem is I'm having to try to Mickey Mouse this, this rail to try to get it at the right angle before I make a cut. Um, practically, the way to do this is to start writing or start drawing uh, parallel lines on this table that are parallel to the uh, blade and then make in manually making the rip fence parallel to those. We'll eventually probably do that and I'll eventually replace this blade. But until then, what you're going to have to do, I suggest, is, is uh, uh, either push this or pull this to get it lined up with the this right here, which is supposed to be perpendicular to the blade. And that should get you pretty close. If you need really precise uh, we have other saws that you can use. So uh, for, the, for the rough cuts, this is probably okay. Hope this helps. Talk to you later.